Were the drugs there from the beginning? Um, let me think. Ah, pretty much, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's like in the old, it's like in the old days, you know, this, you know, the story about your mother says, don't, you know, if somebody offers you drugs, don't take them. I said, well, they don't offer you. You have to buy them. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but initially, you didn't have to buy them. That was the thing. Everybody, everybody was doing it, you know. It's like smoking. When I was growing up as a kid, 95% of people smoked. And why? Because other people ever smoked. You know, I stopped smoking in the year 2000. Mike Clark and I had a bet. And none of us, we haven't had a cigarette since. So apparently I wasn't addicted, but everybody smoked. So the same thing in those days. Everybody was either a drinker or doing the, doing the blow or uh, smoking the bones. And somebody, you had at least two or three vices. A lot of, a lot of deck, deck chairs to throw off, you know. Did you have any of those vices before you got into stand-up? Uh... No, I think it grew. It pretty much blossomed once I get in there. Now that I think of it, uh, yeah, I used to smoke. That was about it. But nothing. No, nothing else. No drinking. Uh, not heavily at all. Hardly. hardly not heavily. heavily. And I covered up for. Effort, so <laughs> yeah. I, I made up a lot of ground. I can tell. I mean, now all the guys are AA. I'm the, I'm like the only one left drinking, and I notice there's much more liquor everywhere I go. There's always liquor now. Yeah, liquor. everybody cleaned up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're they're looking at you like you're the last Mohican. Yeah, it's like uh, Bobby Nickman, a comedian and a writer, and he, he said that he first got into AA because he needed the stage time, you know, <laughs> to take it up and uh, talk in front of a right. crowd. But he was one of the first guys that kind of cleaned up, and then this guy, and then this guy, and and there's very few of them. Well, a lot of guys came from AA, and that's how they got their start. You remember Dave Fitzgerald? Oh, well, sure. Funny guy. Yeah, yeah. He got into comedy from Alcoholics Anonymous because yeah. he would go up on stage and tell these crazy old drinking stories sure. and people would laugh and then he polished those stories up, sure. made them tighter, and then started doing stand-up. Yeah. Um, but uh, it, it, uh, when you, in the, we'll say in the mid-80s, the early 80s, if, if you weren't a drinker, you were the exception of the rule, again. You know? Wow. So you weren't a drinker before. Not really. You just started hanging out with these guys. and was I'm not it blaming just, any of them. No, <laughs> hey, look, I'm not even. But was it right away? Like, just you, just wa you walked into this lion's den of people doing drugs. Who was the fucking, who's patient zero? <laughs> like, who, because it was, wasn't that many of you, right? Well, I think that, I think that it, uh, it came to a culmination at the ding hole because mm. we basically uh, ran and owned the place. And we'd stay there until, I can remember walking out there many times going, ah, oh, beautiful, it's not even light out yet. You know, it'd, be, it'd be 6.30 in the morning. You know? Right. But we were serving drinks, and, and half the people, there'd be 10, 12 comedians sitting around, and, and four or five other guys, and the other guys are cops. They're in there drinking with us, too. So wow. we weren't going to get busted or anything. I mean, Kenny Ryden first got there. He walked in the door there. He got there, I don't know how, but he got there around 2 in the morning. And there's six or seven of us, you know, they're either smoking joints, doing, doing some wine, drinking, and we're up on the stage playing cards, you know, for money. And he goes, he goes what is this place? You know? <laughs> <laughs> he, he, Paradise? Yeah, he had no idea. He goes, someone said, well, what do you want for a drink? He goes, well, who are the te tequila drinkers? And everybody goes, nobody you are. So, so then he's getting into other stuff. So, and he, he made up for lost time, too. And you're the one guy that's still drinking. Uh, that I'm aware of, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> I don't know. But I don't really look around that much. But uh, there How, aren't many other things. Did you ever think about quitting? No, not really. No, <laughs> not, not really. at all? Oh, when I was in the hospital, I had a hernia operation, but then Rogers didn't smuggle some booze into the hospital, so <laughs> that was it, yeah. yeah. He, put, he, brought, he brought in a thing of uh, vodka and color and a magnet. So he was going to pull out the, uh, the staples that I have. You know those steel staples yeah. you put in when you get stitched up? He thought that was funny. He went, he went and stole a big magnet. <laughs> that was being funny. But he did bring booze into the hospital. So. <laughs> How long were you in the hospital for? Oh, for just, that? you know, whatever, four or five days. Whatever. So you almost quit for four or five days? Oh, yeah, almost. Yeah, almost? Yeah. yeah. Do you never, like, when you see all these guys going into AA and cleaning up, you never went, huh, maybe, uh, maybe that's for me? No, no, never, never did. <laughs> no. I mean, so we stopped the blow and all that stuff, right. you know. But no, I, never, I never was much of a smoker, smoker of the grass. But uh, the drinking, you know, that's uh, pretty consistent with that. <laughs> you find something you like, stick with it. You know? When did you stop the blow? Oh, oh, a long, long time ago. Yeah, yeah. But um, I don't even remember 
Right, that's the one. 80s, you know, 90s? But you don't see any people doing that. I, mean, I don't know. I don't even know. Is there still a scene where people do Not that? comedy, no. Yeah. No, not a comedy scene with blow. Not that I know you of. Know, and you remember, like, we talked, you said the comedy stuff, you know, you could, oh, don't, don't, don't sit there, you know, because it'd be somebody had lines under this yeah. thing. Don't, 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 don't go over there. And it was like, wherever you went, you know. Well, they would offer to pay you and yeah, blow. Yeah, and get the giggles in Tampa, Florida. They honestly said, do you want all your money in blow or do you want some cash? I go, I'd want it all in cash. And then if I wanted to get blow, I could do that. I mean, you can't go into a grocery store and say, you know, I got these three items. Is this line big enough? You know, <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that doesn't work. 